me to clean him up here and he's going to be getting a shave and since he's from out of town I'm going to give him a little quick lesson because he's getting a haircut and shave I'm going to give him a lesson in, in shaving a little lesson in hair care and a small lesson in skin care okay so let's start out with the hair okay how often do you do you uh, shampoo your hair I daily is about right daily is about right way too much Okay, what type of work do you do? You already told me, right? Indoor. Okay, so what do you get? You're uh, in, in finan financial, uh, and you're indoors, right? So the most you're going to get is paper dust, right? Yep. Okay, so by shampooing too often, what type of shampoo do you use? I use, um, the, the fact that I don't know, is that a problem? It, 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 that's not a problem, because that's, that's what I hear. Yeah. And so it's what my wife buys. Am I right? <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Yes, I'm it's what my wife man buys. Man enough to admit your that. Yes. Said that. You're a man enough to admit it because every man should admit up to it. <laughs> All right. So, so my I I would probably think that your wife is using a sulfate shampoo. So we're going to get you off the sulfates and try to get you onto a sulfate-free shampoo. There's plenty of them out on the market. And so the reason why it's not as harsh on the hair, okay? And so shampoo is basically it's a detergent. So when we shampoo our hair, we're taking all of its natural oils out, right? So and if we're shampooing every day, our hair does not have the oils in which it needs for the elasticity. So we're going to get you into shampooing your hair maybe every other day. Let's try that. Okay. okay. We'll try shampooing every other day, but we're going to try to change your wife's habit of buying that sulfate-free shampoo. So we're going to get into a, a, a sulfate-free shampoo. Have her look and find yourself a sulfate shampoo. Okay. And it'll be great for her hair too because yeah. it doesn't have all the, the, the harshness of the sulfates. So you use a uh, shampoo. You use a conditioner. Occasionally. Sometimes, Occasionally. Sometimes it's it's uh, all in one. It's all in one, which is marketing and, and all about <laughs> that. And you know all about marketing, That's right? right? Okay, so that means it's not up what it means to be, right? Okay. So, a conditioner. In your mind, what does it do? It conditions the hair, right? Yes. Wrong. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Do you remember the word cream rinse? Yes. Huh? Well, I do. The word, right? So. Do you remember the word enhancer? No. Okay, that word came out in the 80s with a company called Nexus. Everybody was familiar mm -hmm. with Nexus, Jerry Reddy, the father of shampoo. So anyway, well, let's get back to where we were. So the, the shampoo that you're using, okay, it has a, that sulfates are drying. So we're now into sulfate-free shampoos because we found out they're not as harsh to the hair. Mm -hmm. And by shampooing not quite as often, you're going to allow your natural oils to do a little bit of the work okay. to put that moisture back into your hair because you're taking all the moisture out of hair, sometimes your hair doesn't really perform the way you want it to perform yeah, because true. it doesn't have any elasticity in it. All the oils are taken out. So no need for conditioner whatsoever. Okay, the conditioner itself, what it does, it takes a soapy film off the hair shaft. Mm -hmm. It acts as a detangler. All right? But because you're like living in Florida, okay, it's a different weather than on the American Riviera. It's a different weather. So you probably would perspire more than I will. Yes. Okay? So what is perspiration? It's salt, right? So now we have salt coming out and it's drying up. And so it attacks your hair. So we need to put the conditioner into your hair, okay. even though it's not doing anything to condition your hair, but we need to get that salt get off of your hair. Yeah, okay. So, but conditioning the hair does not condition the hair. There is nothing in there that will condition it. Because what they did in the 80s, all the companies got together, and this is what they did. Well, we're not selling this, we're not selling this cream rinse, and now we're not selling this enhancer. So we need to sell these two together, the shampoo and the enhancer. Mm -hmm. So they got together in the mid 80s, I called it the shampoo summit. <laughs> and all the big companies got together. And what they did, 
is that said, okay, so what was a conditioner? We're now going to call that a reconstructor. Reconstructor. Okay. So what was a an enhancer? We're now going to call that a conditioner. Okay. So what did they do to the product? Nothing. Yeah. All they did was change the name. Interesting. So that's. So 90% of the women or 95% of the women walking around, and if I were to be doing women like I did years ago, they said, well, I use a conditioner in my hair every day. And I said, and you're telling me you're detangling your hair every yeah. day, basically. <laughs> That's it. Period. So, and it goes the same with guys. Uh, the guys are in the same boat. Uh, they just don't quite understand it. Because you hear the word condition, and you know what the meaning is, you know, it means to condition. Well, you're thinking that you're doing it, but it's all, it's all marketing. Okay? So your wife's going to be happy with that. She's going to be pleased. <laughs>